Welcome back Ceramics 2. In this video I'm going to show you how to adjust and attach a pliable handle that you've already attached to your work. This is going to give you the ability to kind of change this curve, deal with this like decorative piece if you want to. Um, just another skill to have in your toolbox as far as making handles. So here's a picture that I've got made and a handle that I've kind of pulled off the uh, form and then I've let sit for a while. It's like still a little bit bendy, but it can still move. This is pliable, just like we did with a different video where we made a pliable handle and then attached the whole thing after it was dried. But so this form, I'm just gonna take this leftover bit here that I've draped off the edge, and this is the kind of time where you can, number one, uh, you know, check that it's straight before, you know, you wanna do that before it dries, but this one dried a little cockeyed because I had it lying down. So I'm just looking right along this handle, making sure it's straightly aligned with the spout of the pitcher. Then um, I'm gonna slip and score right at the bottom where I wanna attach it. So I'm gonna lift up here, score right down there where I wanna attach it. I'm gonna make a kind of big scoring mark. Grab some of my slip over here. Uh, I like to use a brush when I'm slipping on my own. All right, so there we go. Um, now, I can take this handle, and like in some of the other videos I've done, I like to be sculptural with them. So I'm actually going to tuck this handle back around, and because it's bendy and pliable, got to hold it so you can see it. I can uh, change the shape here, and it's going to be stiff enough that it can hold its form, but strong enough that I can bend it and kind of rely on it to be uh, holding that form nicely. So I'm just going to bend this in. I'm just going to set it there for the moment, and I'm going to take this top piece of this handle and I usually do this with the pot sitting down, but I'm going to take this top piece and kind of bend it upwards and push it in. I'm worried because it's a little bit on the dry side. I waited a little bit too long, but I'm going to take this and just push this handle upwards and bend it and change that shape so that it's a little bit more lifted for pouring. Okay. So I'm just bending it, slowly putting pressure on it and bending it. Sorry that you can't really see because my hand's in the way. There you go. It's a little better. Okay. So I'm going to bend it a little bit like that. So it's kind of got this almost ear shape. Um, now I'm going to readjust this. Double check the straightness. There we go. So now I've got this kind of decorative handle that's more shapey and I've like, it looks like I've done a little bit more on the, uh, on the sculptural end. Now I'm actually going to just lift this open and score and slip in there too because since it's pliable it's not like I can just squish these two pieces of wet clay together and they're going to stick really well. You want to make sure that you score and slip really well in between there. And then of course you'll need to go back with a tool and kind of scrape away any leftover slip so it looks really nice. And it doesn't look like you've just left a bunch of goo sitting there. Okay, so I'm gonna squish those two together. I'm gonna reach in here and squish this. I'm gonna put my hand inside too so I don't damage the form of my vessel here. There, now I've got that nicely attached to the bottom. I've got that shape of the handle, kind of sculptural, so someone can grab in here and still pour that and it'll still have a nice feel. Okay, so at this point, you would wanna go back with a tool like a knife or a popsicle stick or a modeling tool and take away this leftover slip and make sure, or, or add like different things on. A lot of artists at this point will add on um, 
you know, little wads of clay to make flowers or, you know, little chunks of clay to sculpt different things on. So you can, of course, as now that you're developing your own voice as an artist, if you've got something else that you would like to put in here to kind of make a statement, you know, awesome. That, that's what you should be doing now. Um, you know, if you want to take this and even carve different little pieces of this away, maybe make it a little bit more pointed on the inside, put a, a thumb nubbin up at the top, you know, anything's possible uh, because this is dried and more pliable and you can still kind of sculpt with it, but it'll hold its shape. All right, so that is how to pull your handle first, let it stiffen and get pliable, and then use it as a sculptural form of your vessel. Okay, thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you in class.